So yesterday, we officially got a global release date for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. So players started noticing on the iOS App Store a brand new page for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, and it's available to pre-register right now. If you go over to the iOS App Store, you will see pre-order, get ready for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And then if you click into that, it will show that you can actually pre-register. It came with a brand new trailer and some brand new images. And if you look closely, it says that the expected global launch date is the 15th of May next year. Oh my God. This is absolutely insane news because that means that a global launch is only six months away. And if Warzone is going to follow the same trajectory as Call of Duty Mobile, then we're probably going to expect some sort of soft launch before the end of this year. That's not confirmed, but soft launches typically last between four to five months so if that's the same as cod mobile then we're going to be playing the game in a couple of months boys now for you guys wondering if your potato phone is going to be able to run this game if you actually scroll down past the description and you click the compatibility list it will show you the exact devices or recommended devices it's going to be playable for warzone mobile it says that you require an ipad os 15.8 or later and a device with an a12 bionic chip or later now there's a lot of devices going on here from low to high you've got all the way from the iphone xs all the way up to the iphone 14 pro max so fingers crossed that the optimization is going to be good and we're going to be able to run it on a lot of our phones which means even the low to mid-end devices as well so the first image shows that pre-order now for a chance to earn the special rewards at worldwide launch the special rewards we've seen already you can get this insane ghost skin for 25 million pre-registrations which we're so close to the next image is stadium real competitors real competition and then the next one is obviously the shared battle pass between modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 and the last image is verdansk yes the insane map verdansk now behind me is the official trailer playing right now and you guys can see this kind of looks like gameplay you know i mean the textures and everything on there looks very similar to gameplay of warzone mobile and Maybe that's actually the gameplay we're going to be getting in the next soft launch. Now, rumor has it that we're going to be skipping some betas and we're going to be going straight to soft launch, which is insane because you guys know what a soft launch is. You get to log in with an account. You get to keep all of your save data and it all ties over to the global launch. So you don't have to start again from scratch and you can literally grind from soft launch and up. Now, not only have we got a new trailer, they've also updated the app logos as well. So these are probably going to be the finalized Call of Duty Warzone mobile logos. And then lastly, you guys know that, you know, they did a global summit event, which I actually attended last weekend. We're not allowed to share any details of it quite yet, but London was insane. It was a really good time meeting some other creators. And trust me, you want to hit a like and subscribe and tune into the next video because you're going to see some... Uh, some interesting things. Now behind me is a video from PK, so make sure you go sub to him. It's a video that shows Call of Duty Warzone mobile compared to Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. So we're going to check it out and just react to it right now. So here is the aeroplane uh, from Warzone 2.0. As you can see, obviously the graphics are insanely high for, uh, for Warzone 2.0. They're going to be because, you know, it's PC and console compared to mobile. It's a lot better. Very crisp, even all the operators right there just giving each other handshakes and even like the interior of the, the sort of uh, the uh, the plane as well looks insane. Even like the little sort of utensils and stuff they've got like scissors and stuff like that in their belts and stuff. Um, so this is on the most highest graphics of Warzone 2.0 and then I guess in a second he's going to show the plane from Warzone Mobile coming in. Um, but the map on uh, Warzone 2.0 is sick. So here's Warzone Mobile right now. This is what it looks like. This is the same sort of start as uh, Warzone 1, Season 1, back in Verdansk. So you can see the Battle Royale. Obviously, it's going to look a lot different to Warzone 2.0. The textures and everything are going to be a lot lower. Um, but I think it looks good regardless, you know. I think they've definitely captured the sort of vibe of, uh, of Verdansk. And now we've got jumping. So obviously Warzone 2.0, jumping out of the uh, the ship right now. Looks like he's going towards Zarqua Hydraulics. Um, quite a, quite an infested place, actually. I've played some Warzone 2.0 already, and that's uh, very infested. But even loading in right now, I know this is on HD graphics, but everything renders in perfectly on Warzone 2.0. Even the grass, even like the sand grains on, the, on there as well. And obviously, here's Warzone Mobile Alpha gameplay. Um, doesn't look as crisp, but... Still looks kind of good, you know, falling down into, uh, I think he's near hospital or downtown right now. Um, but even so, the buildings right there look amazing. And you guys know with the, the new optimizations and the, the, the new devices that are going to be available to run this game, it's looking good, Brev. All right, it's looking good. Uh, so here's the running animation. Warzone 2.0 obviously looks 
crisp. Like, even just those wall textures, like the little graffiti on the walls and stuff, the roads, the, the curbs, even like the bin bags and everything. Everything's, it's got so many like polygons down to the T on every little thing. And then you got Warzone Mobile, which obviously it, it's weird going like from Warzone 2.0 to Warzone Mobile. It just looks, you know, it does look ass compared to Warzone 2.0, right? But for a mobile game in an alpha stage, it looks really good. So going to use some armor plates right now. We'll see what that actually looks like. The animation uh, It's the armor plates in Warzone 2.0 being used. And yeah, standard animation uh, basically puts a plate inside this jacket. And now we're going to see it on Warzone Mobile. So plate inside the jacket, pretty much the exact same animation. Yeah, kind of like slits it inside the jacket, the unzipped jacket, and looks good. Driving now. Let's have a look at what driving actually looks like. So here's a quad bike. Looks amazing. Like it, Look at the distance right now. The rendering in the distance is insane for Warzone 2.0. You can see the build is right in the distance just about popping, but the distance on that is pretty crazy. And this is what I wanted to mention in Warzone Mobile because from the alpha gameplay, look in the distance. You can see stuff very far. So what I want to know is what it when you're scoped in with the longest range sniper like a 10x or something are you still gonna be able to see enemies at that render distance so you can see the grass quite low there uh like quite close there sort of renders in a bit later than it does in the distance but that's good so we've got the loot box right there man look at those graphics they are insane damn man and then you got was a mobile graphics <laughs> no i made jokers so we'll obviously uh again alpha gameplay um opening a loot box pretty pretty the same well pretty much the same as wars 2.0 killing so it's got the i think that's the lackman is that the lackman or the m4 i think that's a lackman so there's one kill right there and then we're gonna see what the sort of kill is so on mobile obviously we're gonna have uh yeah there's there's no sort of floating damage ticks um which I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys want some floating damage ticks, which means when you're shooting someone, if uh, you can see the damage pop up when you're shooting them. So uh, he's just died right there. Pretty normal death. Go straight to the death cam. Um, I believe there's death cams in Warzone Mobile. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we'll see right now if, if there is or not. Just got one up. Just died from him. And then the, the prone guy kills him. So we got that. Ah, yeah. So, so we got cool death cams as well. So... We're going to be able to see if there's any uh, dirty hackers or not. Um, but that's basically it, guys. So make sure you go sub to uh, PK if you haven't subbed to him already. Um, and that's it, guys. Get hyped. Global launch May 2023. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.